Okay, Oak Rovers, this is going to be a video to help you reverse a zero product property. And specifically, this is going to help you on problems 73 and 74 in section 8.2.4, and it will also help you in section 8.2.5, the whole problem. Now, if you haven't already watched my video on the zero product property, it's very important that you watch that before you watch this video, because you have to understand the zero product property before you are able to reverse the zero product property. Now the zero product property helps us find the x-intercepts of a parabola or a quadratic. These uh, x-intercepts are called the roots of a quadratic. Now in problem number 73, uh, what it means is if you're given the x-intercepts, can you find the equation? In problems number 73 and 74, you're given a table. In problems number in the section 8.2.5, they're given a graph. Now, the important thing to remember when you're doing this is that the x-intercepts are the values of x when y is equal to 0. So let's look at 73 and 74, and that should help you do uh, 8.2.5 also. So here's a table, and this is from one of the problems in 73 or 74. I'm not sure which one, but it's very similar. So or, or it's, it's the exact same problem. I just have taken it out of the book. Now, the first thing I have to do is I have to find the x-intercepts. And remember, the values of x when y are 0 are the x-intercepts. So I'm going to go down here and look for y is 0. Here's one point where y is 0, where x is equal to negative 5. That's one point. Here's another place where y is 0, when x is equal to 1. Okay? So now that I've found my two uh, x-intercepts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that in the equation and solve the right side of the equation for 0. And here's what I mean by that. I know that x is equal to negative 5 because this is one y-intercept where x is equal to negative 5. So what I'll do is I'll add 5 to both sides and I end up getting x plus 5 is equal to 0. That's, why, that's what it means to solve for 0 on the right side of the equation. Now my other point is x is equal to 1. So I'm going to do the exact same thing here. If x is equal to 1, I'll subtract 1 from both sides and I get x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now to find the equation I'm going to put that in my generic rectangle and multiply it out. I'll have x minus 1, and I'll multiply that times x plus 5. Now when I do that, I get an x squared in this rectangle. I get a 5x down here, a negative x up here, and a negative 5 up there in the upper right. Now to write that equation, I just combine my like terms. So my equation for this quadratic is y is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 5. And that is how you write an equation if you know what the x val or what the x intercepts are of that parabola.